lecture we will be talking about the Dell EMC Unity storage series systems. This is an upgrade to the earlier VNX storage system that was offered by Dell EMC. So people who have already have the knowledge of VNX storage systems or who are already managing the VNX storage system, uh, this will be an upgrade uh, session for them. But if anybody who is working as a new professional on the Unity system, this course will also help them to understand the basic fundamentals, the overview, the features of the EMC Unity. So here we have a course agenda that I will be covering in the later slides and that will be part of this training course. The first topic that we will be covering will be the Dell EMC Unity Overview and its architecture where we will talk about the various components and how the architecture is offered. Then we will talk about the scalability features to understand what are the scalability features that we can address with the help of Unity such as the number of nodes that we can configure, the data growth that we can accommodate and those kind of features. Then we will be looking at the efficiency features. So when we talk about efficiency features, we are referring to always like deduplication, compression, those kind of features which will optimize our storage. So we will discuss what are the new offerings that are being included in Unity. Then we will talk about the data protection which includes your snapshot and replication technologies to protect the data and then we will talk about the data mobility feature that is offered in Unity and we will see what are the advantages of this data mobility feature, how we can use these features to perform different activities for storage management. Then we will look at the next topic which will be about the data security. So how can we secure the data that is residing on Unity platform. Then we will talk about the networking concepts. As we know the Dell Unity is a unified storage platform that offers both SAN and NAS from the single platform. So when we talk about NFS, CIFS or when we talk about FC or ISCSI, how they will be configured and what are the networking features that will be used for high availability and load balance. Then we will talk about the management interfaces such as the Unisphere user interface, the CLI, the REST API. We will look at all these interfaces that can be used to manage the Unity storage system. Then we will cover the virtualization feature to understand what are the virtualization features that are offered by Unity platform. Then finally we will go into detail about the Unity VSA which is a virtual storage appliance. So if any of your customers or if you are planning to deploy the Unity system in a cloud or on a hypervisor using the virtual ability, you can use the Unity VSA appliance which is a virtual appliance. If you are not going for a hardware storage system, then you can also go for Unity VSC. Then finally, we will be looking at the specifications and the useful links that will help you and that will share you information about where you can find additional administration guides or best practices guide or hardware and compatibility information about Unity. Thank you.